This is literally me turning it on in 10 years. So hopefully this uh, works. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right guys, Blitz here. And this right here is the PlayStation phone from 2011. Now you guys are probably asking what makes this even a PlayStation phone? And it's this right here. Three, two, one. Look at this. This phone literally transforms into like a PSP Go. I don't think a lot of people know PlayStation actually attempted to make a phone. They probably saw like a lot of success with like the PSP and just decided to go with this. So yeah, here it is. It's actually a pretty cool, like here are the buttons. This is how they sound like. ASMR. And then they got these like weird thumb things. I'm not sure how those work. It's also got a menu thing right here. And then select and then start. So this is what it sounds like when it's closed. Triggers right here, like R1, L1. And then the volume. On the side you got the charging port. And then believe it or not, this had a headphone jack and then here's the back this is the camera I'm not sure what this green thing is it looks like a button but it's actually not on the top there's the power button and then on the bottom this looks like you can actually detach like this whole back side I also forgot to show you the back what it looks like when you put it like in a PSP mode so there it is alright so and I forgot to mention that I've actually owned this phone back in 2011. So I didn't buy this phone just for this video. So that should show you how much of a PlayStation fan I am. True dedication. And I charged it up. And now it's fully charged. Now let's see if it actually turns on. This is literally me turning it on in 10 years. So hopefully this uh, works. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, it rumbled. This better turn on. Oh my god, there it is. Alright, so this phone is running Android. Alright, so it finally turned on. I'm not sure if that's the right date and time. Let's see. Oh, it actually is. So after 10 years, it still knows the date and time. That's pretty crazy. So, let's actually unlock this. I do kind of remember this wallpaper. Oh my god, look at this screen right here. Alright, so I had to clear out some notifications back in 2011, but here it is. This is the PlayStation phone. So let me actually, uh, I don't even know what these buttons do. So this is back, home, this must be the menu, and then search. I don't think I'm connected to Wi-Fi, but let me actually connect to Wi-Fi real quick. Alright, so I'm connected to Wi-Fi and there's the YouTube app right here. Like, look how old that YouTube logo is. So let's just see what happens when I go to it. Here we go. Uh oh. Does it not work? Alright, so for some reason the YouTube app doesn't work. Like nothing is loading. Tried searching my channel, but nothing pops up. So, Alright, so before we check out the PlayStation part of the phone, let's just check out this camera. And let's see how it is. I'm actually going to take a picture of my PS4. Let's see how this looks. Alright, so I took a picture of my PS4 and hopefully I know how to put this in the video when I edit this later, so... Let's actually now check out the PlayStation part and let's see how it is. I think if I remember right, I just... It'll automatically pop up when I put in the PSP mode, so here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my god, I was right. See, that is something I remember. Oh my god, here it is. This is basically the PlayStation Store, but except for some reason this is called Xperia Play. So here are the games. I remember one time I was playing a racing game. Dang, NFL Pro 2013. So I am connected to Wi-Fi, so I wonder if, like, if I can still download games or like, it's probably like discontinued. Cause I don't think anyone even plays games on this, or even own one. How many games are there? Oh my god. Okay, so I'm, I don't know if these are automatically downloaded or I have to pay for it. Do I have to pay for this? Oh, it takes me to a website? 
All right, here we go. I finally found the games that I remember. These are the games that I used to play. They have Crash Bandicoot. Oh, here's the racing game that I was talking about. Bruce Lee, Madden. All right, so obviously there's not a lot of games that I have on here. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they discontinued the store. Like I can't download anything. It just says that it's been like temporary down or whatever, but let's try to check out these games that I have. I'm not sure if I need to update to play this. Let's try let's try to do this racing game real quick. Let's try multiplayer out. I doubt anyone's playing this at 2 a.m. in the morning. Play now. Complete room of CPU player. Why would I want to play with CPU? Alright, I guess I'm waiting on players, but it looks like that it's still searching, so I'm I'm pretty sure the servers are actually still up to this day. It's just that no one's actually playing this. So I'm just gonna leave this. So yeah, these thumb grip thingies are like weird. Like I don't get obviously they couldn't do like real thumb joysticks because how would you even fold it down? Oh my god, look at that sharp turn. Oh my god, how am I alive? Yeah, I'm going like so fast. Okay, I got wrecked. Alright, so let's see what happens when I try to close this while I'm in the game. Okay, I guess nothing happens. So let me actually close out of this. Alright, so let's try out one more game, Crash Bandicoot, because this is a real PlayStation game. So let's try it out. Oh my god, it still saved my progress from 2012 in December. What the heck? That's almost Christmas. Wait, why was my press continue? Wow, it still left off. Let's put up the music. The thumb grips don't work on this game. I totally remember playing this. Okay, well I just completed the level, so there it is, Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation phone. Wow, I didn't even get that far. That was literally like the first or second level. Oh wow, I didn't even know you can actually do that. I always think this right here is a button that would take me to the PlayStation store, but it's actually not. So yeah, there's the forgotten PlayStation phone that no one knows about. It's pretty crazy that I've actually owned one. I'm never going to sell this, I'm always going to have it. So, yeah, PlayStation phone, pretty cool, but unfortunately, it failed. So yeah, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe, and yeah.